The editor I use is Final Cut Pro for all of my drone video editing. I find it a fantastic program, but it's not cheap and it's certainly not free. But could I recreate or get close to a cinematic video that I did recently on Final Cut Pro on an iPad? I certainly don't get the use out of this like I should do. I wish Final Cut Pro was available on here. Until that day, it's just not. We've got to make do with this. So I use this for basically watching videos, replying to emails, that's about it. So I don't edit on here, but I've started to recently with VN Studio. A lot of people were using it for making TikToks, but you can also make really good drone videos with like a landscape view. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. This app is free, it's available on iPad, it's available to download on Mac, also on Android as well. So go and check it out afterwards if you like it, but it's free, so you can't go wrong. So I'm certainly no expert on editing on iPad at all. The reason why I'm not focusing on LumaFusion is I like to use speed ramping in my cinematic moves, and it, currently on LumaFusion, as far as I'm aware, you can't do speed ramping. You can on this app, that's what's really incredible about it, you can add your own custom looks as well. So I'll show you all them in a minute, but first of all, we need to talk about before we even start editing the workflow how do we get that footage on the iPad so workflow is super important you need to get something done you don't want to be hanging around waiting for files to transfer so my personal workflow is I'll get the drone I'll get that memory card and I'll take it straight out I'm not going to mess about with the DJI Fly app I'm not going to mess around with doing any quick transfers I just find it so painstakingly slow by the time I transfer one on the quick transfer I could have it all on here in a folder so what I do is I get that memory card I take it out and then I connect this to either my laptop or the iPad this is a Samsung T5 SSD drive an external one had this for a couple of years one terabyte absolutely brilliant this then enables me to then create a folder on here and drag all that footage from the memory card I've just taken into this folder. So it's secure then, it's on here. I've got all my folders in place, I know where they all are. That means if the memory card, you could lose it, could go corrupt, so many problems could happen. But on here, I can have it all in one folder and then I can edit off this folder as well. But the problem is, is the iPad, it doesn't have a lot of ports. So where are you meant to put this on the iPad? Well, this is the downside to the iPad and we've got to get involved then in this dongle life. So this dongle here, I use a lot. I use it a lot on my old MacBook. I use it all the time on the iPad. You've got to get involved in that dongle life. So with having this dongle here, I can put this memory card direct into this dongle here. And that's then a card reader. And then you've also got my SSD connected to this with different USB-C and USB-A ports. This then connects to the iPad, ready to go. So for the purpose of this and to speed the video up, I'm gonna not talk to you about the folders and transferring. If you've got an iPad, you probably will know already how to make folders on the iPad or on a tablet. So I'm gonna skip that bit. So for what I've done is I've got a folder on my SSD. I think I've titled it DJ 1.5.10 performance test. And then the mini two files are in there. Once they're in there, I can then connect it to my iPad. I can load up VN Studio and then I can edit the video direct from the actual SSD. So that's what we're gonna do now. So let's move over to the iPad and we'll get going. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up VN Studio and then just open up a new project. So you click on new project and then it'll simply ask you where you want these files to come from. So we're not gonna select our camera roll. We're gonna click on the bottom here where it says import from files app. Now I've already created this folder. So I'm just gonna select my SSD, which is a Samsung T5 drive. And then we can just click in the search bar and then search for that folder. So I've called it 1.5.10 flight test. And then in here, I can select one of the files so I want to open up the DJI folder and then to keep this simple we're just going to add all of those different files to the app so you're going to select all them and then just click on open at the top that will then process them and add them to the timeline so they're all now added ready for us to start editing so the first thing we're going to do is use two fingers and make that timeline a bit bigger and then you want to scrub through the timeline and just delete the ones you don't want. So by this, we've got split or delete. So there are a few photos in here as well. So I'm gonna delete them first of all, and then just go through and just select any files that you don't want, any ones that didn't turn out to be very good. We want the best. So anything that's not good enough, get rid of it. 
Now we want the files in order, so just simply press and hold and drag the files to the area you want them to be in the timeline. So I want a start, a middle, and then an ending shot. So I'm just gonna go through and put all the different clips in the order, and then we're ready to get to the juicy stuff. So once you've done that, let's go. What's brilliant about this app is we can do speed ramping, something which I love to do on all my drone clips. So we're going to focus on this first clip here. And if we can just zoom in and have a look, we can see the speed button bottom left hand corner. If we click on that, we can see now what we can change the speed of the clip, but we can do it via speed ramping as well. So you can see here this really flat yellow line. That's just the original clip. But if we hold down on one of these circles, and actually raise the circle or lower it, we can then increase or decrease the speed. So you can see there, it was a fast intro. Same on this shell here. If we raise that, you'll see it comes in fast and then it slows down. And then to end, we can raise it again. So it's a fast speed ramp coming out. I do this all the time on all my shots and it's unbelievable that you can do all this for free on this app. And you've also got presets as well. So you can use preset ones if you're not too happy moving the curve yourself but have a mess around with this speed ramps can transform that image i do it all the time the next brilliant feature on here is LUTs. You can add your own LUTs. So if you've bought my pack of 12, you can add and mess around with them on this app as well. It's mental. So you can do basic color corrections on here as well. But if we just look at that plus sign in the bottom left hand corner and click import from the files app. If you've downloaded my LUTs, you'll see the DM Pro LUT folder. We can select all the 12 different LUTs and add them directly into this app. So we're gonna select all of them and then click on select and that will add them and it will keep them on this timeline as well so you can see the 12 lots here we can now select all of these different lots and transform the look of the image we've got an intensity slider so you want to pull that intensity down I normally have it around 30 or 40 percent but have a look at all the different filters or which are lots and then that's what I use so for the purpose of this video I used cine 2 at 40 percent with 12 contrast added as well so this is what it looks like on the final cut and on the this iPad as well but it's brilliant we can do that but look at this now it's looking pretty good already isn't it this is from the iPad in a half an hour edit on here I think it's pretty amazing what you can do on an iPad let's now click on the music icon and add music music and sound effects super important I'm going to concentrate on music so by clicking on that file button again I'm going to open up Soundstripe I use Soundstripe and Artlist all the time to get all my music and sound effects I'm going to use the same sound that I used for the video on the Final Cut Pro just to keep it consistent so once I've selected the song I can click on download so this is the song I want to use but there's absolutely thousands on both of these platforms of different songs and they're all fantastic high quality so go and check it out if you haven't already once I've got this and click on that download button I'll click the mp3 format and that will download it to the iPad so now I've got that downloaded I'll just open up VN studio again and then we can now select that from the folder that's just been downloaded and then we'll add that directly to that track so we've got the music here you can mess around with the start and end time so I'm just going to keep it like this for now let's have a look at that This is where you can also edit to the beat. We're not going to do that fully today. This track's really good for drone sort of quick clips anyway. But we've got music, we've got lots added, we've got some speed ramps, we can now export this. So if you just click on this top right hand corner, I'll show you how to export. You click on that now and then this will give you some options. I'll just zoom in and show you. Click on manual, don't click on auto. And then when you're in here, we want to change that resolution from 1080p all the way up to 4K to get that best quality. For the frames per second, I always export in 25. And then the bit rate, we want to increase that. It doesn't have to be massive, but around about 100, it's going to give you a decent amount of quality without the file size being huge. We can look at that estimated file size now, just about half a gig and then export that. But this is gonna export it in the highest quality in 4K. Once you've done that, you've done it. And this is all done on a free app. This will then save that into your camera roll. But once it's now downloaded, you can also just save this. You can publish this as well onto the VN Studio app. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna leave that to later. And that's now stored. And then once you click on that, let's go and take a look.
I'm sure you'll agree that this is a fantastic editor and it's free. So this is so much better than that DJI Fly app. You can't even export in 4K on DJI Fly. You can't add LUTs, you can't do speed ramping. This is brilliant and it's free. So go and check it out with your drone footage, but you can also make like TikToks and Reels as well. So this was a quick fly over this. You can do more things. You could add sound effects, you could add different sounds, you can make a longer video. Just a quick look at actually what you can do. So I'm gonna be doing more of these. So let me know what you want me to actually show you. So I've gone out and done something different on this, BN Studio. I kind of do a LumaFusion one. I do like LumaFusion. I just, I'm looking for more features coming from that, which is gonna be coming soon. LumaFusion is also gonna be available on Android soon as well. So we'll probably do a video when it's available on both. But there's loads of different editors or even the old grail Final Cut Pro, which I am good on. I can show you some videos on that as well. But comment down below if you found that useful. If you're new around here, like, subscribe, please. That'd be awesome. See you all soon. Take care.